Why settle for ordinary lessons? Discover a smarter, easier way to learn. This is Muto Online. Hello everyone. Shooting in live from Muto Online Studios. This is Teacher Alan. I'm right here to take you through um, chemistry practical. Uh, we are going to do a practical that is actually common but rarely taught. We have here a simple question that we are going to go through. And the question is very simple. Like we shall confirm at the end. So the question goes, Bukola is a fertilizer manufacturing company which manufactures various fertilizers by reacting acids and alkalis. The Ministry of Agriculture has insisted that the, person of the proportion of volumes of the chemicals must be mixed in order to avoid one being excess, which may damage plants and soil. The manager of this company has been advised to take a lot of care when mixing the chemicals and therefore he must determine the exact volumes of each solution to be used but has no idea on how this is done. Uh, if you have been contacted by the company manager for help, and they have provided you with. So we have here solutions BA1, which is a solution of dilute sulfuric acid, and BA2, which is dilute ammonia solution. So we have BA1. Um, here is our BA1. This is our solution BA1, and this is our solution BA2. So we have the two solutions, BA1 and BA2. So the intention of the set of the item told us that in the confidential that we provide you with all these things you see here, plus these ones here. That on your table, we include all these ones you see. A billet. Um, a billet. A retort stand, four beakers of those sizes like you see them, I mean four measuring cylinders like you see them, a thermometer, a stop clock, a stop watch, and two beakers plus a conical frasic. I'd forgotten to put it there, plus a conical frasic. So we have everything the set of the item told us to provide. Members, we are here to go through practical techniques. We are going to learn practical techniques. I think I put this one aside. Um, and whatever is provided here, not everything is to be used in this practical. These practicals depend on your choice, so long as you choose the right apparatus for a right purpose. So members, when you, when you read through this question, like it is going to be uploaded on the website and in the description of the video, there is a reaction between, there is going to be a reaction between the BA1 and BA2. They are saying that BA1 is an acid, which is dilute sulfuric acid, and BA2, they are saying it is aqueous ammonia solution, which is a base or an alkali. Members, the intention of the set of the item is telling us we help the company manager to determine the exact volume of each of these solutions that is needed 
to be mixed so as to make a fertilizer that will not affect the plants or the soil. So therefore, to go into the details of these solutions, this one being an acid reacting with an alkali, it implies that this is known as a neutralization reaction. It is a neutralization reaction because the product we shall form will be of neutral pH. As these two are reacting, the acid and the alkali, in the neutralization reaction to form a neutral pH product, there is either heat being produced or used. But basically, these kinds of reactions result into heat production. Members, for these kinds of questions, where the reaction is between an, an acid and an alkali or base, um, the reaction, which we shall be able to determine the unknown volumes of each of these ones, that must be mixed to form a totally neutral uh, solution or product um, will help us to know. Actually, we shall be determining the temperatures that will be helping us to know the volumes after plotting. To cut the story short, as these two are reacting, there is bond breaking or bond formation between these two. The bond forms between components of the acid with the components of the alkali. As the bonds are forming, members, there is heat being evolved. And the bond formation takes some time. So we shall be giving the reaction time. Members, for these questions of determining unknown volumes of acids and bases or alkalis reacting in a neutralization reaction, it is a simple task. These reactions will evolve us doing calling out certain procedures that are simple. So I'm going to go through the procedures as we understand them. So what we shall always do, we shall be measuring a certain fixed volume of an alkali or base. So we shall be measuring a fixed volume for this. So we can think of which apparatus can help us measure fixed volumes, standard actuate fixed volumes. And after measuring or uh, measuring the standard volume of an alkali, we shall always transfer it into a plastic beaker. And then we use a thermometer to determine the temperature of the alkali without an acid. After doing that, we shall use either a bullet to transfer uniform volumes at intervals of the acid to this alkali in the plastic beaker while steering and in determining the highest temperatures, highest stable temperatures for the reaction. So we shall add five cubic centimeters or 10 of the acid. We steer using a thermometer until when we obtain a fixed high volume or the fixed volume, I mean, fixed temperature of the reaction. And then we record it. After recording it, we shall 
without putting that solution in the beaker, we shall measure more five, or let more five of, of the acid from the bullate onto the solution, onto the mixture. Stir again and determine the new temperature when you've now added five, another five to make it 10. So we stir and record the new temperature. After obtaining the new temperature, we continue and add more five. We stir again and then record the new temperature. So that is 15 of the acid added to the mixture or to the solution of the alkali. We add, after recording the new, the new temperature, we add more five. We go on adding uniform volumes of the acid from either the bullet using the measuring cylinder to, to transfer the acid onto the alkali in a plastic beaker. So we add more five, we stir, or 10, we stir, and record the volume again. So we started uh, with, with reading the temperature when we had no when, when we had no acid in the alkali. So we recorded the new temp the temperature when the volume of the acid added was zero. We added five cubic centimeters of the acid from a bullet or using a measuring cylinder onto the alkali steered and then um, we obtained the maximum temperature when after adding five um, so that means we recorded the temperature when we had already when we had added five of the acid we add more five after obtaining this temperature here so we add more five when we add five to the other five of the acid it will become ten so we recorded the new volume, the new temperature reading, uh, actually the new stable temperature after adding more five to make it 10. When we obtain it, we still add the more five this time to make it 15. Steer again, then read the new temperature, the new stable temperature. We repeat the procedures. We still measure more five to make it 20. Stay again. I think you are, you are now getting the trend of this practical. You, and you can now see the apparatus you need, the variables. Don't forget to subscribe members. Don't forget to share, to like the video, to invite your friends as well. Don't forget, you can be suggesting now the, the apparatus, the variables in the comment section. So members, after adding more five to make it 20, we steer again and read the temperature. After reading it, you record it. After recording it, you add a more five, this time to make it 25. How many values are those? One, two, three, four, five, six. A minimum of six values may be, may be done. But usually it's better you do more. So after adding more five to make it 25, you steer and read the new temperature, then you record it. So it is better the time you take to record the temperature when zero cubic centimeters of the acid is added would have been the same time you take to record the temperature. So the intervals of reading the temperature should have been the same. And if possible, you should have been patient and take at least a minute giving the thermometer time to stabilize. So we can record the temperature readings every after a minute on adding these uniform volumes of the acid in intervals. 
So you can add the more five to make it a 30. So these are now seven values. These seven values will be good and will make your graph to look better. Members, to determine, now we now have the, start, the fixed volume, we know the, the volume of the alkali used. But we want to know how much of the acid should be added to every this fixed volume of the alkali that was used. So what we always do, we shall always be plotting a, a graph of temperature against volume of the acid, volume of the acid used. And we shall find that we shall be forming a curve. So what we shall, to get the maximum volume, this curve, we all know that this curve can help us get the maximum temperature if the practical is asking about heat and maximum volume if it is asking about volume. So what we do, we get our ruler and a pencil. We put a ruler on one side of the curve. We draw a tangent. A tangent is a straight line touching the curve. We get our ruler, draw a tangent touching the curve. We still we use the same ruler, draw another tangent on the other side of the graph, still touching the graph. So we have two tangents. Where the two tangents meet, where the two lines meet, will help us determine the maximum temperature we may use to determine the heat if it is what is needed. And the maximum volume of the acid. Here, the maximum volume of the acid that reacted with the other volume or fixed volume of the alkali you measured. I think I'm very clear. So, we can only determine the volume of the acid that may react or that is needed to react with the fixed volume of the alkali from a graph. After plotting your graph, we shall have this lesson of how to plot a graph, how to get a scale, working scale for a graph. But today I'm going to take you through the practical sessions. I think with this information, we can determine, we can, de we can surely determine the variables, the list of materials, I mean, apparatus we need. You can determine um, the procedures to follow. So to cut the story short, that is all about the theory of such practicals. Members, whichever practical you find that is of that kind, the reaction between an acid uh, with the base, you can determine the maximum temperature for determining the heat of reaction. You can as well determine the maximum volume of any solution or the maximum volume of the